Hello everyone, today is part 3 of the tutorial. Actually, I kind of recorded this all on the same day, so it's really not a different day. But yeah, I can count to 3. Anyways, so... In the last map we made a button, we made a cube, we made a lot of stuff. Let me just move this cube over here actually, because, you know, this really isn't much of a puzzle, so I'm just going to rearrange all the entities. To, you know, make it more puzzle-like. It's still not going to be that big of a puzzle. But actually, for the last tutorial, I have something of surprise that will make it a lot more puzzly. Uh, so, I'm just going to move this guy out of the way because I'm going to need to work here. Uh, so, you know what this is missing? Doors. So, let's make some. I'm going to throw down a funk instance and the instance I'm going to be using is downloaded in the description of the video it's a custom easier to use door frame instance as you can see and that looks like this in game just a simple door frame instance that I made whipped up in like a few minutes by editing a valve instance to be more clear and easy to use because the valve instance was much longer and had a weird black part at the end so this is much easier to use and manipulate for your map making purposes and you can use it in any map without crediting me at all I don't really care it's just a door instance so let's also put the door rotated this way and align it like that then we can copy and paste this door to the other side of the map and don't worry about the snow draw here it's kind of just so you can see the details of the door um that was really weird okay let's take the door over here and align it with the other door plus we have to rotate it uh, make sure everything's aligned and let's rotate this door like that make sure it's perfectly rotated it's quite easy to rotate things in source by hand you just gotta make sure it lines up correctly so we have our doors like this and uh actually I think I might want to bring them forwards a little bit uh yeah let's just first I'm gonna work on connections though we're gonna have to give this door a name and yeah now that the door is named let's go to the button Ha outputs and add on pressed the door's name open that's how easy source connections are it's it almost reads like English on the button being pressed that door will open it's that simple now let's do another one I bet you already know what it's gonna be on unpressed the door closes so, yeah, it's really easy. Almost reads like English. Connection should not give you any trouble whatsoever unless you just don't know what the connection is supposed to be. Like, for example, the portals are pretty complicated sometimes if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, also, some more complicated logic entities could be a bit difficult. Now, we're going to search for the brushwork texture trigger. And just... Put it right here. You don't have to, but use the trigger texture, but it's just going to give you a much easier time if you can see and hammer exactly what it is. So let's hit Control plus T. That's Control plus T. It's a very important hotkey. And we're going to rename, we're going to change the entity type to a trigger once. Like we did with the button, we're going to do on trigger, the door closes. And you just set up your first trigger. This door will open when the button's pressed, and if you go through the door and walk through that trigger, it'll close. Make sure there's a margin between the trigger and the door, so you don't accidentally get yourself slammed in the door. We don't want Cave's line to come true, guys. So, over here, we're going to have a trigger. And like that. Alright, so... Let's keep going. Uh, just gonna name the store. Make this the entrance store. 
and we're going to do the triggers exactly like how we did the other trigger. We're just going to make this one open the door instead, because this trigger once will be like when you go through the elevator and the door automatically opens for you so you can go into the test chamber. That's what this door is. Now, we're just going to copy and paste this trigger on the other side of the door and then change the connections a tiny bit so we don't have to do a lot more work. It's just much easier. So we're going to change open to close. It's that, that's simple. Now you can do connections and source and it's really just that easy to make these connections between items and doing all the logic. Like, you, you've just made a button that opens a door and an automatic opening and closing door with these simple logic. Like, it's that easy. A lot of people mistake Hammer for being a really tough to learn application that not many can do, but guess what? It's easy. And look at the chamber we've been putting together so far. You, a beginner with no prior Hammer knowledge, can do this. If you haven't already, you should probably watch the p tutorials before this one, which explain more beginner stuff. Have a good day, and make sure to like and subscribe.